Hey, Abdihamid Noah, national champion, 5,000 meters. How's that feel? Feels good. Feels good. Um, feels deserved. Um, I knew I knew I was in great shape. I just want to execute coach's plan and take care of business at USA. What was coach's plan? To win. Um, he believed in my training. Um, I, I have the best teammates in the world. I knew um, that I was in great shape and I could execute and come out with the win tonight. So did he, did he tell you go with like 1K to go? Or was that a decision you made? Like what was the thinking? Yeah, he, coach told me to read, read the situation. He gave me a lot of scenarios to prepare for, but ultimately he said, you're going to be in the race. You're the, you're the one that's going to be deciding. So read the situation, um, see how you feel, and when you feel it, go for it. So why did you feel it then? Just because I felt like the, we were getting crowded and I felt like guys were coming from the back and I was feeling good. So I, in training, I knew I could attack um, closing well. So I just went for it and believed in myself. How does it feel to sweep the 5K, 10K, you and Woody? Yeah, and Nikki too as well. Uh, yeah. The 15, 3 for 3. I think uh, it shows the strength of our squad. shows the um, that we have the best coach in the world. We train the best place in the world. And it feels good to come out, all three of us come out with a win. How has it been different this year training as a pro versus uh, being an NAU last year? I mean, yeah, as a student, you know? Yeah, this year just... Um, you know, taking taking your time, um, having grace, and l having a learning period. And my learning period was the indoor season. I really struggled with just sickness, not having consistency, and just believing in my coach and believing in that it's a long year. And this is just one of the checkpoints. And the ultimate goal is Budapest. What, what, what makes Mike Smith such a special player? Uh, he's understanding. He's willing to uh, work with others and willing to switch training for you and just be patient. He's really patient. Let you learn from yourself. Let, let you learn from your own mistakes. And yeah, he's there for you more than a coach. Uh, coach Smith is like a father figure to me, and I appreciate him so much because he's yeah he he's he's, uh, he's one of a kind. Do you allow yourself very often to reflect on your journey from Somalia and here you are a national champion holding the U.S. flag and represent the country at Budapest? Yeah, definitely. All the time, you know. Um, I'm always grounded to my beginnings. Um, that's what made me who I am today. So I always reflect on the beginning and know that uh, no matter how far I get into the sport or how successful I get in life, that I, I came from Somalia and I'm a, I'm a Somali kid at heart. And U.S. gave me a great opportunity to achieve my goals. Uh, what kind of race in Budapest are you anticipating? Similar to last year, or do we think it's going to be faster? Honestly, anything can happen, so I'm prepared for whatever comes. And um, we have a strong squad, Luis, me, and Woody. Um, I think the way we train, um, Coach Smith will have us ready for anything. If it came down to lost 400, would you have been confident in your kick today, or is, is that does that play into why you took it from a little further out? No, I was ready for anything, um, but you know, of course, my strength is taking it out. But I, I knew my closing speed was strong just throughout the training period and what I was able to do this season. I knew I was in great shape, and I trained with a strong squad, man. So I was prepared for a fast race, slow race, a kick, whatever it was. I was ready for it. And uh, early on, you seemed like extremely patient. You were just on the rail. Did anything? Was anything unexpected? Or did anything throw you off early on? No, nothing at all. Um, I think learning from Nikki, Nikki's race and Woody's race, it's that they were really patient. They um, they they made sure to um, time it really well. So I took that from them and wanted to put that in my race tonight. That lost 1K, I think it was like 221. Like, do you think that surprised you at all, or you're like pretty sure you could do that? No, that didn't surprise me. I knew I could do that. Did you see the level everybody's at right now? Everybody's closing really well. So in order for me to be at that standard, I needed to attack just like that. Do you think you'll run any races like in between now and Worlds like to get prepared for that level of competition? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. We're going to be going out to Europe and doing more races, but I think to, today was going to ultimately build the schedule for that. So now we, that we checked off USA's, we know we're going to Budapest, so we're going to have um, different races planned throughout the year in order to get ready for Budapest. Does Mike come with you on those trips, or he's back in Flagstaff doing the college thing? He'll, he'll come to Budapest, but I don't know about the other trips, but at this level, you know, coach gives us what, everything we need in training, so if he's there or not, we know what we're going to do. Yeah. Last year you make the final. Um, at Worlds. What are your expectations? What are your goals for this season? To compete, to fight for place, and um, to uh, place higher than I did at Worlds last year. <laughs> All right, congrats. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.